If you're already a fan of lizards, then this is gonna be your new favorite video. And if you're not, well then prepare to be, because what we have for you today is the top 12 most beautiful lizards in the world. Lizards have that something that makes us look at them like we're witnessing something out of a fairy tale. Well, maybe it's their similar appearance to a fantasy dragon, or maybe it's because we can't understand what they're thinking, but no matter the reason, one thing's for sure, lizards are amazing creatures. Are you ready to see the top models? Number one is Parsons Chameleon. This gentle giant is Madagascar's largest and most impressive reptile with 70 centimeters of total length, which is about the size of a cat, and it'll reach the weight of 750 grams at its peak and live over 15 years, although if not in its native land, that lifespan could go down to 10 to 12. That's for the giant, and as for the gentle, it's a friendly, relaxed creature that many of the human inhabitants of Madagascar are also. When they reach maturity, they mate, and after four months, the female digs a deep hole and lays 20 to 40 soft-shelled eggs. And here comes the strangeness. Like no other chameleon in the world, this gentle giant must wait a year and a half, and sometimes two, for the eggs to hatch, and, well, they don't. As soon as they bury the eggs, the female's parental obligations are done. Number two is the Pinocchio lizard. This mysterious animal was discovered in 1956. And in the next few years, the herpetologist only found seven of them, all males. Then for almost 40 years, no one ever saw one until a decade ago, nobody even knew if it was extinct. Then a group of bird watchers noticed a lizard crossing the street, which looked strange because they live on trees and go unnoticed. So the locals didn't know much about them. Their horns are not used as a weapon, but suspected that the females prefer the males with the larger horn, as in other species also. It can also wiggle them up and down because lizards do not have muscles there. Uh, but this one apparently does. They move ridiculously slow and can be found only at night, while no one knows yet what they do during the day. Number three is Basilisk, also known as the Jesus Christ Lizard. Basilisks take their name from the resemblance to a Greek legendary monster made up of parts of a rooster, a snake, and a lion, which would turn a man to stone with its gaze. And it was also called Basilisk. That's without the S. The name derives from the Greek word Basiliskos, meaning little king. The other name, Jesus Christ, is taken because of their ability to run on water when they're frightened. When running, they don't sink because they're so lightweight and their speed and their feet, which are large and equipped with flaps along the skin of the toes. They can swim and stay underwater for up to half an hour. When running on the surface, they get on their hind legs in an erect position and it looks just like a human running on the water when it senses danger. Number four is the frilled lizard. Not fried, frilled. Undoubtedly one of the funniest lizards in the world. When startled by a predator, it turns into a full clown. The large frill around its neck, which remains hidden and folded, well, here it goes. It pops up like a Shakespearean collar. Then it gapes open its mouth and exposes a bright pink or yellow lining, and raises its body, keeping its tail above, and starts this comic running around, flailing its little arms. Hmm. And when they eat, they ingest hundreds to thousands of flying ants or termites, and these binge periods usually occur during the wet season. Their frill also comes out in the mating season when they fight with other adult males and bite them. Another strange fact is their eggs and gender is partly temperature determined with extreme temperatures making females and with intermediate temperatures producing an equal number of males and females. Hot females prevail. Hmm. Number five is the marine iguana. These mesmerizing creatures can only be found on the Galapagos Islands of Ecuador, with each island hosting marine iguanas of different sizes and shape. Unfortunately, for the past couple of years, they're considered a vulnerable species because there's lots of predators who feed on the lizards themselves, but also their eggs. They might look like they're super tough, but the appearance doesn't give them credit they're due. Those marine reptiles are actually super gentle. Usually their color is a suit black and they have a long flat tail that helps them swim. Now a super cute fact is marine iguanas actually sneeze very frequently to expel salt from their nostrils. Aw, bless you. Hey, how you holding up so far? Have you fallen in love with a lizard yet? Or have you fallen in love with our wonderful channel? Well then you need to give the video a like and go right ahead, subscribe to our channel and bang that notification bell. That way you'll get more of these magnificent creatures. Number six, flying geckos. 
This extraordinary and unusual lizard can actually fly or guide through the air, and it makes them look like little tiny screaming dragons. Their flaps and fringes on their bodies are used to help break up the outline and conceal the animal, and that's why it's also called cryptic. Seems this thing is capable of both parachuting and falling at a slower rate, and gliding or descending at an angle. They stretch their legs out, hold their tail out straight, and glide for about 5 meters, although one specimen can do a 9.35 meter glide. It's not entirely clear if they fly as an escape tactic, or they just go from one tree to another for fun or searching for mates. You can find them in southern Thailand, Myanmar, India, Malaysia, Indonesia, the Nicobar Islands, and Singapore. Number 7 is the Leaf-Tailed Gecko. Europlatus fantasticus, the satanic leaf-tailed gecko. Eyelash leaf-tailed gecko, or the fantastic leaf-tailed gecko, it only lives on the island of Madagascar. Its tail is mimicking a decayed leaf so much it appears to have pieces missing and notches. On top of that, it has an eyelash, like a projection above each eye, but there's no eyelids, just a transparent covering over their eyes which are clean with its long, mobile tongue. Ew, much? Mmm. They are nocturnal and avoid predators by flattening their body to reduce their shadow, opening frighteningly their jaws to show a bright red mouth, and voluntarily shedding their tails in order to trick, emitting loud cries and trying to bite, or they escape leaping from branch to branch, hiding among the leaves because not only its tail but its whole body resembles a dead leaf, flattening their bodies, dissolving into the bark. Imagine coming across this little satanic face with no apparent body. Yikes! Number 8 is the Chesterfield Skink. Looking like a rope with a grin, like a Cheshire cat, this lizard is very rare and lives on the west coast of New Zealand in an area of only around 2 acres. Talking about rare, their population is between 150 to 200 individuals and they were discovered in the 1990s. Until 2008, for 7 years, no one spotted a Chesterfield Skink. They have strong prehensile tails to grip objects and help them climb. It's possible they once lived in trees, but now, because of farm improvements, they're restricted in a small area between farms and sand dunes and threatened by mice, cats, rats, and the native weka. Luckily in New Zealand, it is against the law to hold lizards without a permit, as captivity is very stressful for them, and they can drop their tail as a result, and that would reduce the chance of their survival. Number 9 is the Rhinoceros Iguana. Looking exactly like a rhinoceros, this species is big for a lizard, but small for a rhinoceros. They have a little horn on their nose and a thin, long smile, and they're entirely vegetarian. They have very strong legs so they can walk with its body well elevated off the ground. They live in a tropical dry forest in the Dominican Republic in Haiti, and unlike other lizards, they enjoy the day, eating and sunbathing on top of rocks, never being noticed because they completely can camouflage their rock-like body texture and color, retreating into a hollow trunk of a tree during the night, although they mostly live in rocky and dry areas. Three horns are found in the head of the males without any obvious reason, except perhaps for an aid in courtship. Number 10, the Komodo dragon. The largest lizard, growing to a maximum of 3 meters and weighing up to 70 kilos. It's one of two with a venomous bite and occasionally they will attack humans. Their diet consists of tamor deer or decaying flesh of dead animals, including human flesh. Young Komodo dragons are vulnerable and they dwell in trees escaping from cannibalistic adults. It takes 8 to 9 years for one to mature and they live up to 30 years. They have a tail as long as their body, and a long, yellow, deeply forked tongue, and even a third eye on the top of their head that can see as far as 300 meters. They were believed deaf, until an employee at the Zoological Garden in London trained one to come out to feed at the sound of her voice, even when she wasn't seen. Number 11 is the Rockagama. The Rockagamas are really rocking it. They're normally 13 to 30 centimeters long, and males measure 3 to 5 inches longer than females. These little creatures live in a small group with one male as the leader. Said male is allowed to mate with the females. But God forbid if another male tries to mate with a female in the group. The only option is if they eliminate the lead male from their own group. They mate during the wet season, and before the mating, the male digs down small holes using its snout. After the mating, the females lay in the holes. The subordinate males, females, and immatures have a large olive green head, while the dominant male has a blue body and yellow tail and head. Weird little rascals. Well, before we see the last video for the day, we want to remind you, in order to see more of these amazing top 10s, all you got to do is hit the subscribe button, 
pop the notification bell, and you'll make sure you never miss a newest edition. Now let's go to number 12. Are you ready? Number 12, horned lizards. They mostly live in dry places like the deserts of Arizona, California, Mexico, and Guatemala, and dry prairies of southern Canada. They have so many predators that it is said that anything that can find one would eat it. So they camouflage, matching their colors to the background, mastering the art of stillness. Regal lizards roll over playing dead or exposing their spines that resemble teeth, or they use their best known defense, which is squirting blood. They do this to cats, dogs, coyotes, and wolves. The streaming of blood coming from their eyes can go as far as two meters, and predators go away disgusted at the blood, even if it's not poisonous. The blood must be delivered directly to the mouth, and that's why horned lizards wait till the last moment when they're in their enemy's jaws to squirt that blood. Beautiful and creepy. <laughs> A perfect combination. Well, there you have it for today. Here's your top 12 most beautiful lizards in the world. So which one was your favorite and why? Well, tell us in the comments below. And if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Like the video, subscribe to the channel for more fun and informative videos. And we'll see you next time.